Seals are good. Oxygen's good. Just do what you did last time, and you're fine. Follow my one simple rule. Hella, what's my one simple Listen rule? Listen to Lynn. Boss lady knows best. Exactly. Listen to me. Mining's just like any other job. Go steady, go safe, go home with a pocket full of credits at the end of the day. Yeah, totally. It's just like, um, yeah, I work in the Stardock. Except, uh, with more cave-ins, lasers, and accidental dismemberment. Very helpful. Thank you. Ah, you're gonna be fine. Your first outing was solid. And, you know, let's be honest, it ain't exactly astrophysics. That's why I keep him around. Good pep talks. Yeah. And the fact that I can pinpoint a helium deposit from 300 meters. <laughs> Not untrue. A shame we won't find any down here. But the metal deposits alone should pay for our own helium. Hell, after this, we'll have enough jump fuel to bounce from one end of the settled systems to the next. Hey, more minerals, more money. And so the cycle repeats itself. Just no more unauthorized jumps in the house for room space, okay? He's just a big baby. There are worse lives. You know, most Dusties don't even make it this far. I have a good feeling about you. That group hug now or at the end of the shift? <sighs> one of these days, Hella, I am going to leave you behind. Promises, promises. Okay, let's see what we've got. How are we on time? A uh, little longer. Grab some samples. Oh, uh, but not you. Check on Isabel. Make sure she eases up on the breach. I don't feel like getting buried alive today. Roger that. Remember that. Keep your feet steady. And never take that helmet off down here. Oxygen processors don't extend this far. Yeah. Got some little to know the wrong left. Know what I love about working in freestyle collective space? Pure regs. A job like this in the United Colony? Huh. <laughs> Free <laughs> uh, to work right? Calvin! No! Ah, no, no, no! It's a laser, not a sledgehammer! Ease up! Benning, if you got paid for a break, you'd be a millionaire! Let's go! Yeah, yeah. Run it through these veins, pre cut. Don't socialize too much. Cut. You waste no time. Exception. Gotta keep Come on, pick it. Come on. Pre Don't me. socialize too much. Troy, you waste time. The They'll take it out of your hide later. Minimal at this point. Occasional glimmer, but it's weak. What do you think? Stay the course? No, ma'am. Juice ain't. Gotta well, keep okay, working. Then. Catch you in the Let's break call room. this one tapped. Why don't you move over to that big vein? Yes, ma'am. Uh, you think we'll be done here soon? I'm busy. Is there anyone else to bother? Let's go. Dusty, you're up. Take that cutter you grab. Find what you can. I know the closets are in that cavern. I'll shout out when I need you. I guess 
Okay, take it easy. You were out cold. Uh, no physical damage. Mentally, the jury's still out. You know who you are? New recruit for Argos Extractors? Ring any bells? Any of this look familiar? You know, a lot of outfits would see a criminal record like yours and turn you away. We certainly took a chance with you. Well, you got the sample. Client's on his way. Then we all get paid. You remember anything that happened? It's our payday, huh? Huh. All this trouble for them. Never mind what it... Speak of the devil. to know better. Hey, I'm just saying, they got a reputation. Oh, Hell, hey, I bet half the crew doesn't it. believe they exist. Half the crew doesn't believe Earth exists, but it's still there. Same with Constellation. Yeah, come on. Exploring space? Who does that anymore? Ain't the space we've already Lion got complicated is here. enough? Let's go. Not to them, apparently.
Yes, it has. That mine on Bindi, right? Kazan. Hellhole. Like this place. Rare mineral contract. Your tastes are a bit more sophisticated now, huh? So, you found something? Right here. The new guy found it. That right. And everything went cool? Just like grabbing those minerals on Bendy? Kazal and no Barrett, not cool. He passed out after the extraction. Doesn't even remember what happened. Is that right, cowboy? Went on a trip, huh? Well, you could say that the infinite possibilities of the universe are full of everything but coincidences. Look, just hand over the credits, and I'll be happy to never see this thing. Or you, ever again. That's why I like you, Lynn. All business. Barrett, the scanners on the frontier are reporting a ship coming in hot from orbit. I really thought I lost them. Barrett? to Constellation. You're part of this now. You ever stare up at the stars at night wondering what's out there? Well, that's us. That's where we go. Marvelous. Oh, no, Barrett. No. You think you're just going to take off after the mess you caused? All right. I guess I did just put you all on the Crimson Fleet hit list. How about I stay and I send your Dusty here in my place? I, 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 I know, I know, but he's not some miner anymore, Lynn. Soon as he touched that rock, something changed. Fine. It, get out of here, Dusty. Just go. Before I say something I regret. Well, none of that's settled. Vasco, get him to the lodge. No deviations unless absolutely necessary, okay? Protocol- Indigo. Again. There. Oh, and hey, take this. Hey, look at that. The watch fits you perfectly. Now, questions? And Vasco! Don't let him break my ship. Captain, I assume you know how to fly a Class A starship. As Barrett likes to say, it's as easy as learning to ride a bike. I will attempt to boost the shields, just in case there are any difficulties. Shields ready, the rest. 
we are in orbit, it might be wise to test all controls and systems to ensure they are not on the verge of catastrophic failure. I can step you through the entire process, or if you're already an experienced pilot, just power up all the systems and we'll be on our way.
facility with our Crimson Fleet captain is on the surface. Hold them off here. Hey. Uh. 
avoid getting shot. You might die. I can hear the terrorists roaring somewhere. And more people screaming. <laughs> Always, nobody can stop the Crimson Fleet. likelihood of human death.
are cleared for landing at New Atlantis. Assure you this unprovoked attack on the United You will be scared. And as you enter the city, please keep moving. Okay. No. Never a dull day in the big city. This is New Atlantis Transit, or the NAT. It provides free transportation throughout the city. We can take it directly to the Mast District. aesthetically pleasing, or so Barrett has told me. New Atlantis relies on advanced hydroelectrics for most of its power. Sergeant Yumi's looking for a reliable people to help the guard. Contact him if you're interested. We'd all appreciate it. Here we are. The lodge. The front door should unlock if you hold up the watch that Barrett gave you. I have messaged the other members of Constellation. They will be... Captain, everyone will be... We appear to have a visitor. Welcome to Constellation. We have a lot to talk about. Would you care to tell us what happened to our friend? Why you're here, and he isn't? Sarah Morgan, Chair of Constellation. That means anything you discussed with Barrett is my business. Now, if you would please answer my question. I see. Vasco, verify. All statements made have been factual. Oh, this is just typical. Barrett hands over our ship and our robot to some random employee of that discount mining outfit he uses. Walter. And if we hadn't insisted on installing those emergency protocols, I guarantee you this rock breaker here would be halfway to Neon. But that didn't happen. He's here with the artifact. Thank you, Matteo. Now, let's focus on what's in front of us, shall we? What happened when it was extracted? Did anyone see anything? Hear anything? We think it's anyone else who pulls one out of the rock for the first time. Why? We're not sure yet. So if you wouldn't mind adding another data point. Interesting. Similar to Barrett's description of the experience, with less embellishment. Are you hearing this? Do you all believe me now? Whether it happened or not wasn't in doubt. But honestly, Country, if you expect us to believe in fairy... If this is the greatest mystery in the universe, why couldn't it be part of the ultimate mystery? But gentlemen, can we please focus? Noel, I think it's time we tested your theory. Right. Let's see. We know the artifacts react to each other. The pieces we already have move when they're in close contact. Now, if we add this new one to the two we already have... The artifact. If you could place it on the table here. That's it. 
just like the others. And to imagine, we thought there were only two of them at first. Oh my god, that's it. They're reacting. Look at how it's coming together. That energy that's arcing between them, no manufactured material in the subtle systems can do that. None of them. This proves... Easy, girl. Breathe. You will have a heart attack. She's not the only one. If they're coming together, that means there's a set. Built by an intelligence outside the settled systems. Still 2,000 credits for our little wager, Patrick? You're on, Walter. Well, if we had all the answers, it wouldn't be exciting. Now, would it? Not to take away from the moment, but what are we going to do about our new friend here? <laughs> so, are you ready to get to work? See if exploration is the life you want to lead in this little universe of ours? We're all here because we're committed to exploring space. Humanity may have settled the stars, but that doesn't mean we should stop diving into the unknown. Beyond that, you'll be expected to use your own judgment, just like the rest of us. You should take some time to get settled in. Introduce yourself to everyone. Some of our members aren't here, but you'll meet them soon. Come find me when you're ready. You and I are going to be doing some traveling together. Get your feet wet. And here, I think you've earned something for bringing the artifact to us. In addition to credits, why don't we set you up with a backpack with some boost capability? Hmm? You'll need it out in the field anyway. Just mind your head. Bye for now. Whenever you're up for it, we have work to do. We're going to be doing some old... That means people... I've been letting my... Until later. We're just at the beginning of this mystery, and you're going to be there for it. Not much, but you've seen them for yourself. It doesn't take a lot to realize we're dealing with something extraordinary. Just what that is, we'll have to figure out. It's what we do. I don't know what you've heard, but I can imagine. I don't, besides. We're explorers, human. We were founded dec. These are We're going to be doing some old. That means people, I've been letting my. Jumping to anthropology on me already. Oh, well, good. We all need our own reasons to be out there. But it's not. I'm going to be sticking. You mean, Bisa? We do have some fun. We're explorers. We'll need to head to Mast. Check in with the Vanguard recruiting office where my contact works. And listen. Whatever you were before, or whatever you do once you're out there, I don't care. So long as you don't bring UC security to our doorstep. Every member of Constellation is their own conscience. Understood? Good. I hope you are satisfied with the quarters. Ever run into spacers? Space Explorer. Hey, you ever think of joining up with the Vanguard? Help the United Colonies, earn some credits, even get your UC citizenship? Excellent. Just need to do a little paperwork. An orientation on the UC, knock out an exam, and a probationary mission. Do well. You'll be...
Don't forget, Joe. Don't worry, Sarah. I'm up. First things first. Head down to the orientation hall and get signed up at the registration terminal. Have some questions? Military use the creation of the van. So it's the vanguard's job. Sure thing. I'll keep an eye out for your result. Yeah, what is it? Let's see what you've got. I'll be right. Something wrong with the exam? Me? Six? A vanguard's but meet new people? Mass is short for military admi from here. Be that through now. Sir, understandable. Not something I'd ever do. Right. Oh, I haven't. Come on, John. Let's hear it before you try to convince him to join the Marines. All right. Here's what I've got. Vanguard volunteer by the name of Moera. Helps patrol the old neighborhood. Sol, Mars, Neptune, you know. The Sol system? Which admiral did he upset to get that posting? He's Martian, born and raised. Not like I can get anyone else to care. Word is he's got some fancy metal ornament he's been showing off to the old grounders. Matches that description Sarah gave me. You kidding? Lowest posting request rate in the whole fleet. Only thing there the UC cares about is Mars. And no one wants to go to Mars. They want to get off Mars. Soul system is a lot of planets, but a vet like Moera will be checking in at Sidonia on the regular. You mean hitting the bars, don't you, John? Hey, nothing wrong with a little refresh between patrols. Anything for Sarah. UC always takes care of its own. No, oh, brother. Only those on official United Colonies business can be. to you next been a long time since I've been to Mars goodbye
look at this place. I can't imagine being cramped down here, choking on the fumes and the dust. No trees, no grass. It's depressing. Mine and takes all tabs. Keep it simple or keep to yourself. Then everyone will be happy. You ain't been around. One off on patrol. Hasn't been back in. You got another word for it? He means out of space. Ma'am. You in the service? I know the feeling, but uh, look. He has a tab. It's a lot. Let me confirm you now. Okay. Let's talk. Last time he was here, Moera kept yelling about the Lady of Love. Just singing songs. All that kind of thing. Venus? That's only one planet. Hardly an entire patrol route. I got what I got, okay? <sighs> Fine. We'll make do.
alive. This is where the first interstellar ships were made. People... Oh, believe me. So even though the parts break down...
when you're ready to launch. Vanguard Moara. It looks like space is scavenging around here and someone else came in and said hello. Oh, this might be your last encounter. They pillage abandoned facilities and shoot anyone who gets in their way. They're even less organized than the Crimson Fleet. Just to count this desperate force.
Let's go rescue that vanguard. to rescue that vanguard. Goodbye. I got to meet whoever you two are. Looks like we're all in one piece. Any day you walk away from, right? Now I know that kind of talk. You two Marines? Constellation, actually. What? Seriously? Man, I've heard stories, but I had no idea you all were this dangerous. We've heard stories too, about a strange object you found on patrol. So, you know what that thing is? I tried to hawk it in Sidonia, and the guy thought I was peddling phony titanium. Mm, it doesn't play nice with scanners. It'd be worthless to someone trying to flip rare minerals quickly. So you're saying I shouldn't be using it as a hood ornament? Oh, that. Yeah, I mean, it's been a mess lately. Spacers, Varun Zealots, plus Ecliptic tracking me down. We ran into a few members of Ecliptic at the Nova Galactic Star Yard. I'm guessing they were after you. Ah, damn. That's probably how they found me. 
I knew taunting the spacers to meet me at Neptune was a long shot. Making rookie mistakes. I've been chasing shadows around the Sol system for years. And every time I go back to Mars... Sidonia is waiting for you. Run down. Forgotten. Feels like everyone's given up, you know? I've just been spending more and more time in the star field. Sometimes I wonder if I'm really going back. Uh, thanks. Yeah. If you don't mind, we came here for something. Right. Hey, it's yours. Appreciate the rescue. Hope you figure out whatever that thing is. Let's grab the artifact. Good work. Let's get back to the launch. Satisfied it with fits. the quarters available it's to you. A bit, but it's restabilized. Is there anything you should? Feel free to help yourself at the no, bar. It's the I don't drink, before. but there's I feel a like massive outfit did, as the artifact. Now would be added, a good time for what harmonizes. Like it's waiting for the others. Hmm, that's speculation, but I think you're right. We need more. Here. You've earned this. Welcome to Constant. We're going to do by the way. I'm not sitting behind my... And I want you... All right. First, there's also the Eye. And last but not least, Noel. A courier from Argos Extractors came by to let us know they're packing up the operation on Vectera. But that's it. No other word. Mm, that's not good. We should get over there and check on Barrett in person. Okay. I cannot wait to meet him. And you must be the latest poor fool to get dragged into our dysfunctional little family. Whoa. I know a few dark sides of the Aquila moons, but if you're looking for deep history lessons, well, I'm gonna fall asleep before you do. Trust me. Don't encourage him. Coraco, by the way. Hi, hi. Nice to meet anyone brave enough to fly the frontier. Know a thing or two about spacecraft, do we? Hey, don't spook our new friend. Frontier's a fine ship. Honest. Now, let's talk business. Sarah tell you about the expedition? Sure enough, that's where we're heading. The three of us are heading to Aquila, for a settled planet of the Free Star Collective, and, not coincidentally, 
the home of their capital, Aquila City. We'll land in the city's spaceports, but the frontiers are goal. It's a rough country. Spawned a lot of stories. And I got a lead on a tale that um, makes me think one thing. Artifact. Okay. We'll meet you on board your ship. Talk more when we get there. Once we land on Aquila, it's gonna be you and me. So if you want to do any freewheeling before then, Cora and I will just be riding passenger. Scientist out in front of mast, staring at trees, sounds upset. Whatever it is, it can't be that bad, right? across most of the settled systems in all manners of spacecraft, and yet I still get sick on the gnat. liked that statue. It's beautiful, isn't it? Mm. I wonder what the artist was trying to represent. Hmm. Brew accounted for. We are ready to depart.
here. There's uh, something you should know up front. I'm a co. As in Solomon Co, first man on Aquila. That tale I mentioned before, the one I think is connected to an artifact, it's something of a family legend. After Planetfall, Solomon spent years mapping Aquila, and he found a tiny little patch of nothing on his sensors. The kind of nothing an artifact produces. He called it the Empty Nest. Said it was a place even the wildlife of Aquila wouldn't go. Solomon's maps are locked up tight in the local gal bank. We'll be heading there. By order of Marshal Daniel Blake, I need to inform you we've got some trouble at Gal Bank. Folks might be in danger, so you may want to steer clear. I guess that'd be the Marshal's call. Frankly, it ain't going well. Looks to be a stalemate. Maybe a little outside help would do some good. Uh, I doubt those robbers are gonna let us leisurely the Gal please, Bank Marshal. vault. Everyone stays in front of the building, you the got situation. me? If you make a move towards the building, a hostage dies. You planning to tell me your demands at some point? You must who we can trust, and maybe we will. Like who? Not you, and not one of your rangers, and not these city guards, neither. <sighs> what the hell am I supposed to do with that? You need to stand back now. Well, I'm a little busy right now, so if you don't mind, I need you to hang back. Mm. I wish I could say you were wrong, but I'm backed into a corner here. Some folks from the Shaw Gang tried to rob the place, but they got spotted by a guard. They took everyone inside hostage, and now they're keeping a watch so we can't move against them. They're using the intercom to communicate. They won't talk to me. Say they don't trust the badge. <laughs> they want a neutral negotiator. In other words, they didn't have a plan for this, so they're stalling while they come up with one. Hmm. All right, I'm willing to allow that. But a few things first. Say what you have to, but whatever they ask for, there's no way in hell I'm giving it to them. Also, there are lives at stake. So don't get cavalier. Find out what they want, and then report back to me. Hey, you in the bank. I'm sending in a negotiator. The so don't shoot. He's making fools of us all. And don't try nothing. You're the negotiator, huh? If you think you're just gonna walk up here and get us to surrender, you're dead wrong. We'll cooperate when we get what we want. So tell me, stranger, how do I know you're gonna deal straight with us? <laughs> I don't know you, so why should your word mean anything to me? I... Uh, I see what you mean. We've been in worse scrapes than this. We can handle being stuck in a bank. Am I supposed to be impressed? Nothing you say is gonna change my mind, so let's just move on. We want a guarantee. We'll drop the hostages. After that, we'll radio, but if anybody follows them... Then persuade... So let's just... What do you mean? Think so? The Marshal might take us down, but we'll take down some of his on the way. I promise you that. Nice try, but the Shaw Gang don't scare that easy. 
Nah, it's too late to back out now. We're seeing this through. You go tell the marshal to get... Those guys are sk... I heard every word. All that fear and exhaustion are taking a toll. They're not thinking straight. That puts us in a very precarious... Yeah. You gave those... Problem is, if we try to move against them... You'd be willing to do that? You've got guts, that's for damn sure. I can't deny that you're right, though. They might not see... Now, I... If you're quick. There's also a... Most of their... This key should unlock... Girlfriend in there. If she gets hurt. What'd the marshal say? The marshal thinks he can. Good thing for you. Gonna need to ditch that weapon first. Ain't no way I'm letting you in here armed. Suit yourself. Hostages. Are they safe? That's... that's good to hear. Those people aren't just citizens of the Free Star Collective. They're like family. We all are. As for the Shaw Gang, we'll grieve for them, too. Here. You've more than earned this. You got us out of a tough spot, and you did it with courage that's not common. As a matter of fact, you might just be Freestar Ranger material. If you're interested, head on over to The Rock and ask for Emma Wilcox. She handles the new recruits. All right. Now that lives are on the line, let's get back in Galbank, see if we can get those maps. Well done. Well done, Mr. Lord. Are you breathing? Back to normal yet? Mostly. Still feels a little weird, though. I guess I'm not used to having the tube out. He was really the heart of the Free Star Collective. Seems that way. A lot of you got some business with me? Popping back a beer, you Oh. Well, if the Marshal sent you to me, that means he's looking to recruit you. Just so you know what you're getting into. I'll explain who we are and what we do. Well, the Free Star Rangers ensure the safety and security of the Free Star Collective and its people. We might hunt down a fugitive, break up a smuggling operation, investigate a starship theft, or put some would-be bank robbers behind bars. Whatever needs doing to keep the people safe, we do. Like most things that are worth doing, it ain't always easy. But... Do I think we make the Free Star Collective a little safer for everyone? Yeah, I do. I imagine you've got some questions. I'll answer anything I can. Okay then, a word about myself. I'm in charge of making sure anyone that wants to be a Free Star Ranger is up to the task. 
That being said, the Marshal wouldn't send you here if he didn't think you had potential. So, what's it gonna be? Are you ready to sign up with the Free Star Rangers? Might be a good fit for you. The Rangers can do a lot of good. Before I hand you a badge, I need to know you can handle the job. You helped out with the hostage situation, but sometimes people just get lucky. Tell you what, use the mission terminal and take one of the listed jobs. Your choice. Come back alive, and we'll talk about you joining up. This is a dangerous line of work, and I'm not putting someone in the field unless I'm sure they're ready. Then I suggest you get going. Well, hey there. Eh, we got a lot of bars in the city. All class joints, except Aggie. The Rock, Ranger Central. Not a bad bar, too. that old mule saw this coming. There we do. I was hoping to avoid the estate when we landed. Cora's gonna be so mad. We really gotta do this? Yeah, not wrong. I've just been trying not to think about it. <sighs> All right, fine. He's my dad, okay? We're not exactly on friendly terms. He probably figured I'd come for the maps at some point. Got ahead of me. Family business just wasn't something I wanted to get into, you know? Yeah, well, sorry I'm such a pain about it. No forgiveness between me and my old man. It's a uh, cold tradition. All right, shall we? finally decides to darken our doorstep again. You know why I'm here. 
Oh? What's that? You come to your senses? Realize where you ought to be for once? I ain't asking again. You ain't asked once. Let's hear it. I want you to say the words about what's more important to you than family. Okay, this was a mistake. The only mistake I'm seeing here is you. Bringing your constellation lackey here instead of my granddaughter. Come to help Sam loot his ancestry? You're not getting those maps. Full stop. I got just as much right to those maps as anyone else in this family. That's exactly right, Sam. We all share Solomon's legacy. Only some of us are around to live up to it, and some of us aren't. All right, that's enough. Come on, let's you and I talk. In private. Hmm. Welcome home, Sam. Make your visit short, okay? It's what you do. You need something? Give me a sec. <sighs> All right, let's talk options. You're flying in the face of my 30 plus years experience with the man, but all right. I hope you like arguing. Sam's constellation lackey here to bother me again? Well, that's not your decision, is it? It's co property by birthright, it stays here. Easy. We're just talking, right? Can't believe I'm saying this. But if I'll get you out of my hair, then fine. You can have the maps. They're in the other room. Here. Key. Training for some sort of weightlifting cup. All right, let's see if we can find the empty nest. All right, let me think. The way I heard it, the readings he was getting were normal at first, then they bottomed out. And no creature, alien or otherwise, would dare step inside. There. Found it. Oh, boy. <sighs> That's a problem. Well, you ain't wrong. Well, let's take a look at what we're up against. First, it's in the middle of the frontier, which we already expected. No problems there, but the usual tussling with alien wildlife. But the empty nest is a cave right in the middle of Shawgang territory. Same outlaws who held up Galbank. Well, just remember, it's about... Let's get to that cave.
This feels like old times. Smugglers use caves like this everywhere. Sometimes you get lucky and find the damnest things around. I think that's far enough. Hate to put a hole in the head of Akila's own prodigal son. At least not before we've had a word. You must be Shaw. What I am is disappointed. Samco in the flesh and he's peddling around the frontier with the has-beens of Constellation. Now you got past my crew, who I pay quite handsomely, I might add. Grabbed something from that weird cave. Probably whatever's been keeping the Ashta away. So, I'm down one hideout. Now, let's talk about what all that's worth to me. Your lives, your credits. One or the other, really. Oh, well, that ought to cover it. 
Now, get out of here before I start feeling less charitable. Boss, it's the Ashta! You... This is your fault! You better lend us a hand! Still generous. Out. I guess get out. Sure, of here. just keep grabbing everything. Go mind. wrong. One piece. I'll call that a win. Let's get back to the lodge. Dad, have you ever tried Aurora? Uh, uh, well, I, I not, not in a long time, sweetheart. Not since. Hey, your circuits, hey, Captain. Is, what are we building here? I haven't picked up any kind of frequency or signal coming from it. That doesn't mean much. This thing could be emitting something we can't even detect. As far as we know, we could be building a gigantic bomb that will blow up as soon as we finish it. Or maybe it's some kind of interstellar children's toy. Why would either of those things give the Discoverer visions and music? It's a message. I'm sure of it. We just have to hope that finding more of the pieces will give us some clue. I hear that. Moving forward sometimes means fumbling around in the dark. I think Cor and I can use some downtime. Oh, and since it tends to come up, me and my Rugrat co-pilot work as a team. That's non-negotiable. If I'm coming with, that means Cor is on your ship. Likewise. I am at your service, Captain. I hope Barrett makes it back to us. 
I know he gets into trouble all the time. You're back. Oh no, don't start. I've had enough Barrett for one lifetime. I don't need the sequel showing up on my doorstep. More pirates showed up when you were gone. We weren't as lucky this time. Calvert, Troy, some of the new Dusties, they didn't make it. Well, how could you have? You weren't here. Anyway, I was pinned down behind some crates with Barrett. Bullets and laser fire everywhere. No smile on that damn carefree face of his. Like he knew this was it. I started stealing myself to go out fighting. Then that idiot puts his hand on my shoulder and says, Stay here, Lin. I got you. Next thing I know, Two of the pirates are dead, and he's got the third one in a headlock. Drags him out into the open at gunpoint and demands to talk, or else I'm going to demonstrate Newton's third law on this guy's temporal lobe. And that's when they brought out Hella. <sighs> I didn't overhear everything, but after the ten longest seconds of my life, Barrett put his hands up, and both of them ended up getting taken aboard the pirate ship. And that's the last I saw of either of them. They could have grav jumped anywhere. I tried pinging a transmission to the ship in the comms building before they left, but the pirates must have fried it. You want to try it? Go ahead. But the odds of them being alive, even if you could find them... <sighs> I've lost a lot of people on this run, Dusty. I just want to pack up.
trying to make out the grab jump calculations before we're out of range. Out of range of what? Out of range of the sensor array on Vectera. Once we're outside the star system, the band goes from infinite speed to effectively never. What good is sending a transmission down there? You gonna tell Lynn how royally screwed we both are? So, you actually get that computer working again? What? Let me see that. <laughs> Funny. Even knowing he's alive, I still never want to see him again. Hella, on the other hand... Okay. Let me send you the location data embedded in the transmission. Find them, okay? Be a while before Argos comes to pick me up. I'll be here if you need me. And hey... If you ever need a little extra help, I've been thinking about a career change lately. Maybe it's time to put Argos behind me. Seems like you've been keeping busy, Dusty. If, uh... You find yourself in need of a capable traveling companion? We should talk. My contract's up with Argos, and I could use a change of scenery. Works for me. I'm not fussy about assignments. I'll go where I'm needed. Right. I'll get to work. Let's catch up later. Your ship is way bigger than Dad's. I don't know about you, but a fella could do a lot worse than the check complete. We're good.
I thought you were some pirate coming back to kill me. Lucky me, right? Considering the spaceship wreckage, you mean? Yeah, well, you missed the worst of it. Pretty sure we ripped through all the emergency meds that were salvageable. Hey, uh, you know, when I uh, pulled you to the med bench back on Vectera, I honestly thought, shit, I think I just saved someone's life. Oddly proud moment, you know? Uh, so, uh, I guess I'm saying, glad I paid it forward. Man, I was so terrified when I got pulled on board that pirate ship. Barrett was all, sorry, brother, I'll get us out of this. Trust me. Yeah, I'm starting to see that. He tells me we need to start pretending to fight each other. <laughs> Trick the pirates into thinking they need to come in before one of us gets killed. I just remember him shouting, This kid is a killer. How am I supposed to defend myself against these hurly whites? He's gonna bite my face off. I mean, I didn't think it would work, but they came in. All of a sudden, we were wrestling with two of them. Barrett reached for one of their guns. Bingo. Blasted the pilot right in the back. <laughs> Through to the flight console. And dropped orbit like a rock off a high rise. <sighs> I blacked out. And when I came to, there he was. Smiling like it was just another day on the job. You missed the fun part, Heller. <laughs> I mean... I go through all the trouble of saving your butt, and you weren't even awake to notice. Then, he did the little finger gun thing. Oh yeah, probably should have talked about that first. <laughs> did I mention I'm on a lot of painkillers? So, I was real excited when a ship showed up. <laughs> then, less excited when I realized it was a Crimson Fleet ship. And then, really, really less excited when Barrett said, it's okay, I got this. He mumbled something to him, and then they were all gone. I was drifting in and out, but yeah, I think so. Got a signal from the ship before they grabbed you. Hey. Yeah. Ugh, give me a... Let me know when you want it. Still think there might be a spot? Phew, huh? Got it. Get...
trouble, Barrett. Hey, since when is surviving being attacked causing trouble? Isn't that just fun? Getting out there, all the physics kind of. Holy shit. You actually found me. Well, this is turning into a regular constellation party, isn't it? I should have brought drinks. You know, it's actually been kind of nice. Matsura the Grim here is a great host. No sense letting people's last moments be unpleasant. See, that's what I like about you, Matsura. Real renaissance man. I have enjoyed our time together, Barrett. But I can't just let you go with nothing to show for it. Is Constellation willing to pay ransom in exchange for this man's freedom? That settles that. Goodbye, Barrett. I have enjoyed our time together. Likewise, Matsur. Good luck with all the, uh, you know, pirating.
hope you are satisfied with the quarters available to you. Barrett, we were worried sick. Well, some of us were. I see what you did there, Walter. And I know you've been secretly crying into your piles of money just waiting for my return. Actually, Walter has been complaining about you more than usual, which is always a sign when he's worried. Don't start, country. Wait, is that? <laughs> and to think the first artifact was taking up dust on the library shelf. Now, look at them all. You feel it a bit, can't you? Ever since I found the second one. So, hey, I I'm still... Why don't I stick around? Help you get adjusted to the weird... Marvelous. I defend your service, Captain.
We got a rook on deck. Good to see Constellation getting some fresh blood. Ah, gotta pass the hours on the star station somehow. And the iron's always been good to me. I've been trying for the more balanced approach to my spare time, personally. Reading science journals, picking up odd jobs on distant moons for fun, and sampling various cheeses. Wish I could have been down at the lodge to see the artifacts come together. But I got a little lost peeking through the eye. <laughs> Probably would have just gotten annoyed at being bothered. I'll catch a smile at our next big revelation. You know there's more to come. Now, this station, the Eye, rigged up for deep space scans. Barrett and Sarah teased out the signs of where our artifacts could be hiding after we caught our second one. But the data takes a slow ride along the Sea of Light. Years or decades between us and the fringes of space without a grav drive. You won't be the only constellation out there. Andresia and Matteo are both following up on scans themselves. Matteo went out recently, but Andresia... It's been a while. Hate to pull a worried old man act on you, but... I'm an old man, and... I'm worried. It's okay to be worried about her, Vlad. She's been out there for a while. She should be at one of the two sites I've marked on your star map. Can take care of herself, but... We all need backup sometimes. Anyway, hopefully you'll be catching Fortune's smile, and we'll have some more artifacts to take a closer look at. Happy hunting. Usually it doesn't. I'm overdrawn from Lady Luck three times over. It's a long tale to tip your ear on, but if you ever wanted to visit, I have a house out there in the Starfield. Thought I was going to see life's eclipse from there, but... Constellation swept me away. Haven't been there since we started on the eye. If you do go there, turn the lights off when you leave, okay? I hope you're having a good day. Is mining on the schedule today?
those ships would have bugged out and left us with this mess. But you? Total class act. Any way we can repay you?
Forget how marvelous life on other planets truly is. Brings back the memories of the old days. Right, Dusty? Come any closer. Identify yourself. You are from Constellation. Vladimir said someone might be coming. Andresia, good to see you. Looking a little more murdery than usual, but let's just say they had it coming. You are the newest member, yes? Do they often send you to check up on other, more senior members? Perhaps. I suspect Vladimir worried you might find me on the ground, instead of this one. We waste time. We should complete our mission and then we can talk. I did not respond when I called to you after you pulled out the artifact. Does that mean Barrett's theory and experience were correct? The artifact grants the first person who touches it a vision? The fact that it has happened to both you and Barrett is already more than we had before. 
I think it is important that we discuss what you saw back there. That man. What I had done. It was, yes. I appreciate that you see it that way. A very practical outlook, not one I find is shared amongst members of Constellation. May I ask what your background is? Argos. I have heard of this company. Small, reckless. Interesting. I do not have experience with this profession, but I have my own experiences with... <sighs> risk. We both seem to be unusual additions to Constellation. Please, I would ask that you not mention to Vladimir the... the circumstances in which you found me. This is not the first time that Varun zealots have attempted to corner me. If it is known that this has happened again, well, it has been a while since I was given an assignment on my own. I would not want it to be even longer in the future. Do you understand? Mom, this means we are in agreement. Thank you. Mining operations like this, this can last for decades if the company bothered to perform the proper geological surveys.
place is a delightful relic tangled up with hope, grit, and science. Look at you two. I'm jealous. I tried following up on some leads myself, but came back empty-handed. They could be anywhere, can't they? Embedded in a rock, or in the hands of an unsuspecting novelty goods trader? I catch myself just staring at the collection sometimes, wondering what it all means. Maybe that's how our ancestors felt when they were looking up at the stars for the first time. They didn't just gawk at the stars, Mateo. They explored. I disagree. Not every dream is... You're with me, right? Another realist has... The truth hurts, Mateo. Science is... You know what? I just... I do not mind being out, but I do agree that we accomplished something. I have no objections. Let us see what else we can find out there. Noel. Pulling some interesting data from those new artifacts. Tell the Rook to meet me back on board the station. Oh, I then...
Always a satisfying moment to return to your ship. Now that those artifacts, the grav anomaly generated by one of those artifacts, it matches one on another planet. A bigger one. All right, let me transfer over the data. But I need you wearing caution's boots for this one. No telling what this thing is or why it's so large. Going to send you the mark close as I can, but I'm having trouble pinpointing the source. You'll need to explore the area on foot. Put your scanner to work. Don't know what you'll find. Keep your eyes open. And from there, maybe you catch a smile and uncover the source of it all. Harvest any organic materials. Now would be the time.
Promise not to laugh if you need to jump up and down to stay warm.
Are they moving? They seem to react to us. You are back. You did not respond when I... Does that mean Barrett's... The fact that it has happened to both you and Barrett is already more than we had before. I think it is important that we discuss what you saw back there. That man. What I had done. It was, yes. I appreciate that you see it that way. A very practical outlook, not one I find is shared amongst members of Constellation. May I ask what your background is? Argos. I have heard of this company. Small, reckless. Interesting. I do not have experience with this profession, but I have my own experiences with... <sighs> risk. We both seem to be unusual additions to Constellation. Please, I would ask that you not mention to Vladimir the... the circumstances in which you found me. This is not the first time that Varun Zealots have attempted to corner me. If it is known that this has happened again, well, it has been a while since I was given an assignment on my own. I would not want it to be even longer in the future. Do you understand? <laughs> I would not expect you. I will finish.
you all right? We need to get you back to the lodge. I do not spend as much time here as some of the others, but I appreciate that I was Griggs still given my bones. own rooms. Look at you. If you don't mind, I'm gonna start doing some scans. Like, right now. We were right about the anomaly, weren't we? Tip our ears on the tail. An entire building generating a signature just like the artifact. Um, Vladimir, look at these readings. Cardiovascular and neurological levels aren't in the normal range. I think we're going to need a little demonstration. Mind putting the paces to it? Come on! Ever run the scholars? Stolen by some fool. Time dead, of course. I tipped your ear long enough. I make the visit, but I should make the trip more often. Can't let Walter be the only one tending bar there too long. Everyone will forget what a good drink tastes like. That's what wouldn't mind. Up to date planet and then we're hand in hand in agreement. Now get out there and burn some helium. You've tipped my ear. Show the words another time then. Everyone. 
you saw that, right? Like a literal gift from the heavens. And also the most practical consequence of our little venture thus far. Got no old shipwise for this one. Going to just call weird, weird. So we have artifacts, a temple, and this power. All connected. But we do not understand the connections. We need additional information. Can we find more of them? Already picked one up from the scans. Matches another one of the artifacts we found. In theory, there might be one temple for each. But sifting through all the signs to identify a match is tricky. Impossible if we don't have the right artifact to compare. And even then, it takes time. Don't think it's just plenty to... If you have a moment, I have something I'd like to discuss. I must admit, you've surprised me. I thought you were going to take off as soon as you'd gotten something from us. But I was wrong. I want you for a little soiree I'm planning. It's about an art of... Our cellar, I just need... That settles it. As long as they drink... It'll be... Just let me... To the Volais... We need to stop by the Stroud Ekron offices. There are certain authorization procedures when large funds are being transferred, even for something like this. After conducting a thorough search, I'm surprised I didn't find any contraband. At all. But I still need to take you to the station to be processed. a short chat with my counterpart. Is she in today? Yes. Uh, allow me to bust you in, sir. 
Walter. Issa. Shall we continue from last time? The luxury cruise line market is completely outside of our core competencies. Investing into it is a mistake. No, I'm here about... Wait a minute, a mistake. Our ship designers are the best in the settled systems. They design personal craft and military ships, Walter. Large-scale accommodations and hospitality is a completely different beast. Oh, I'm so sorry. Here I am, arguing with my partner. <laughs> and you're just standing right here. Issa Eklund, the hyphenated Eklund in our glorious company's branding. Ah, yes, the daring explorers my partner is so infatuated with. <laughs> you should hear him reciting that speech. <clears throat> There's no need to go into that. <laughs> oh, my heart skips a beat when he does it. Really, it does. Such passion. If he talked to the board that way, I wouldn't need to placate them so much. Yes? Why are you here, Walter? The board meeting isn't for a while. Our vacations aren't coming up either. It's the discretionary fund, Issa. I need all of it. Ugh. Oh. This wouldn't have anything to do with that meeting you've set up at the Astro Lounge, would it? I never said that. Did you have an agent hack into my files again? Only after you had one hack into mine. Tell me, can mutual distrust lead to a point where it's actually the same as mutual trust? A remarkably insecure location for a clandestine meeting. That was the point. Neutral territory in the open. With no leverage? Oh, you must let me help. It's been too long. I have this all taken care of. Some investigation into the cellar was motivating them. Then, some preliminary casing of the Astral Lounge for security flaws. Give you the advantage if things go wrong. Bribe a few bouncers, alter the codes on the doors. Yes, exactly. I hate being so. James Newell is the... And it shouldn't. Meet me back. Stocked and ready to sell. Welcome to Newell's. Yep. Oh, I don't have a problem with this place. My problem is Seagert himself. That man has absolutely no respect for the business community on Neon. He skips merchant meetings and refuses to participate in any of our group buys. Worst of all, he pays off Neon security to keep his place safe. Yeah, sure. If all you care about is yourself. Every payment Seagert makes validates Neon Security's corruption. He's setting a bad precedent that many merchants are forced to follow. Anyway, sorry. I know I can get a little intense about these things. If you'll forgive the outburst and have a look around, I'm sure you'll find something you might want to buy. No problem? I'd say the majority of the guards are rotten, and the few who aren't simply take a paycheck and look the other way. They have neon com- If it wasn't for the- f Watch your back out there. I had to chase more zone heads out of here today. I don't think they even- They're just Hey there! Fun, Welcome to New- Jay. Maybe I did. Had a freelancer.
By Vectera, by Vectera, by Ve You're under arrest. No sudden moves. You're coming with us. We'll be taking any contraband and stolen... Name's Boone Morgan, your new best friend on the um, If you're here for a drink or listen to the music, I've got you covered. But if you're here for something a little more exciting, we have plenty of Aurora for sale. Oh, no, 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 no. Drugs are for street gangs and junkies. Aurora is on an entirely different level. I like to call it an exquisitely crafted transcendent experience. Only problem is that won't fit on the package. Here, take a look at the menu. Now, I'm not going to lie. The Aurora is a bit expensive, but <laughs> let's face it. Can you really put a price on pleasure? The Astro Lounge is one of the safest places in all of Neon. Security is hand-picked from the finest officers in the city. Then I would say you'd be... Excellent. Enjoy the lounge. What are you looking at? Looks like you've got some fines to clear up. Searching, uh...
get you something to drink? Excellent choice. And since you'll be... Wonderful. Here's your key. The trade tower elevator will... And if there's anything I can... Come back soon. <clears throat> Hell yes! James Newell better watch his back. It's causing problems. No percentage in causing problems. Now is the time to begin. This shift doesn't end. Too bad I can't squeeze any Aurora from these fish. to move some merch. This is the place.
anything else? making a fork. By Vectera, by Vectera, by Vectera! Is it you? Is it captain of the frontier, bane of the fleet, constellation shines? Then the day is truly blessed. Because for a moment, I wasn't sure if you were real or just another hallucination. But now that I know it's you, but I changed my routine. I think that makes... Either way... Hey, what am I... You won't be disappointed! Secret techniques of ancient Earth. I can help you in whatever. Until next time... To ensure you receive... There will be...
something. Now we're getting somewhere. Always have. I wonder how the crimson fleet seems to be everywhere. Where alone, your shoulders relax. They're taut. We're on to something remarkable. Maybe what I've always dreamed of. I can tell. I can see your mind racing. I haven't even stopped to ask you how you're doing. I'm fine. The board complains, I assure them. There's the occasional assassination attempt. So, you don't need anything from me, then? I don't. Am I just some useless stargazer? 
you would have been better off marrying a Hope or a Tayo, someone who could be with you at every meeting. Oh, don't go on about that again. Needing you isn't the same as wanting you. And I'd much rather want my partner than need them. Less complicated. Now, I know Constellation seems to take up so much of my time. But I never stop thinking of you. Wondering what maneuvering you're doing to take over the company and drive me out. It's how I show my love. Is everything ready? To the Astral Lounge and our cellar. Goodbye, my dear. See you at the next board meeting? Oh, I'll be keeping an eye on this little operation. Just in case. Good luck, all of you. I don't know what the cellar looks like, but they'll have a security briefcase with them, larger than normal, big enough to hold the artifact. We should split up. Remember, Ramsey and Travers will meet back near the elevator. Borealis, you know, the DJ? Well, she's moping around because she lost something important. Hell yeah! This is awesome! Excuse me. Yes? What is it? Can't you see I'm... Oh, really? I heard you all have a meeting in a few minutes, don't you? In one dose fence. Speaking of which, I gotta get going. I just saw our cellar walk by. Good job. Now before we head in there, let me go over the ground rules. He'll ask for twice what we agreed on. That's normal. He'll probably try to walk out. That's normal, too. Don't worry about the amount we actually settle on. The Stroud Eklund Discretionary Fund is just a chip to you and me. Our goal is to get him to accept that chip in exchange for the artifact. Anything goes as long as it's in our hands and we're not dead. How does that sound? And this'll be fun. 
I find matching wits with the Neon Underworld to always be invigorating. I'm not gonna say this twice. So you, Stroud, you look different in person. Our public relations always insists on doing some touch-ups for the official photos. Embarrassing, really. Your security here going to stand or sit for this little meeting, making me nervous. So polite, almost makes me forget what planet I'm on. You, you gonna sit down? to assume that briefcase has our item of interest? Yeah, here it is. Well, look at that. One of a kind, and I know you want it. I have the amount we agreed on. Uh-uh. Things have changed. I want double. Now how am I supposed to do that? I don't know, but your security here seems to have some fancy gear. Why don't they chip in? Oh, really? And how do you know that? Who talked? Does it matter? We know you're in a fix, and we're still willing to buy. For the agreed-upon amount. I got people after me, okay? I can't just settle on what we agreed on. I need more so I can disappear. That's not our problem. We can't... You telling me, Walt? I leave now. I can get a jump start on the people after me instead of you all wasting my time. You'd be on your way already if you just take the money I'm offering you and shut up. What's it going to be? I... Ah. Uh... All right, you win. Hand over the money. This thing is all yours. Well done. Some high pressure tactics, but we got what we were after. Time to go home, shall we? Stop right there. You're in possession of Slayton Aerospace property. Ah, Slayton must have been the original owner. We don't need to do this. All's fair on Neon, am I right? Hand over Mr. Slayton's property, now. Is there a problem here? Yes. This armed thug was trying to steal our belongings. I'm going to need you to back away from our VIPs. Now. Fine, but you can't stay in the Astral Lounge forever, Stroud. Nicholas Slayton's already got your number. Slayton is a man of considerable resources. Sending our men to the Astral Lounge, Slayton must be serious about getting the artifact back. We better know. Something's gone wrong. Slayton is put up. There goes our way out. Agreed. Have a talk with the man himself. Slayton Aerospace has offices here in the Trade Tower. If Nicholas is moving this quickly, he must be there or close by. Let's head to there. Welcome to Slayton Aerospace. I'm afraid Mr. Slayton is a very busy... That doesn't sound like something... Hmm. Oh, they're... Oh! Wait. 
this clearly isn't the executive level. He's on to us. Walter. Uh, taking what's mine, then breaking into my office. A bold move, but one easily countered. Oh, we're trapped. Hello, Walter, dear, are you there? Issa? Took longer than I'd like, but I managed to pay off one of Slayton's security consultants. They've patched me in. All right. We've got her out. Once the door's open, just follow her instructions, okay? I'm aware of the irony of me continuing to say it'll be easy. But it'll be easy. Doors will open in three, two, one. Slayton's guards and employers are all over. Be careful. Okay. You'll want to use the vent system to slip around unnoticed. There's a cover just to the right of the elevator you came in on. Security is on full alert. No point slipping through unnoticed now. You have to fight your way to the exit. Coming in just behind the executive elevators. I'll call the one on the far end, and you can. Walk you know, right to the it's door. moments like this that really makes Neon the best place to do business. You steal what's mine. I trap you in the city. You infiltrate my office. I lock it down. Where else can you match wits for the highest stakes but here? <laughs> You have what's mine. I, indirectly, have what's yours. We are at a stalemate. Although I do count a few more guns on my side. I do admit, having the co-CEO of Stroud Eklund in my office is 
quite the opportunity. How are your quarterlies looking, Nicholas? Perhaps we can add Slayton Aerospace to our supply chain. Provided this unpleasantness was behind us. Yes. I think that could be a most beneficial exchange. There is just the small matter of paying for the humiliation. Mr. Musgrove, my former employee, and the thief responsible for our serendipitous meeting, was caught prior to your arrival. I think it would cement our new partnership if you were to decide on his sentence yourselves. I yield to your judgment. You've more than proven yourself capable of resisting any course of action I attempt to dictate to you. My security brought Musgrove to my office. I'm sure seeing you again will be a fine conclusion to your previous business. I have an opportunity to spare a man's life. I know he probably wouldn't do the same. Oh, no. You. Slayton really does have a sick sense of humor. Please. I was just trying to sell a product, okay? Isn't that why we're all here? Be lenient. We were taking advantage of his initiative, after all. Even if we have found ourselves working with the man he stole from. I... Thank you. A rare moment of compassion for this city. Very well. I'll clear things up with the authorities. You're free to go. Don't worry. I'm getting out of the city. First chance. Yeah. 
How is Neon? Okay. Let me just bring it up on here at the table. Is that... Is that a prototype? No, that material isn't anything we... What the... Everyone, come take a look at this. That's no faction vessel or Crimson Fleet. Secret military tech, maybe? Hmm, no United Colonies Admiral approved that starship design. They call themselves the Star Corps. Demanded we hand over the artifact. Like we were children, playing with their parents' things. What do people know? Any offshoot groups go by that name? None in any corner of the settled systems I've seen. Maybe a distant human colony, finally popping its head up? Huh. Another house for room? I very much doubt that. We ignoring the obvious here? A heretofore unknown group who just happens to know about the artifacts. I'm just gonna say it. Intelligent alien life, or extra-dimensional beings. The original creators from the furthest fringes of space. Or beyond even that. Is the metaphor of avenging angels coming down to keep humanity from forbidden knowledge not apt here? So, we have a lot of theories, but nothing concrete. Except that they're after the artifacts, and they're willing to take them by force. You do have a way with words. Ah, I knew our little family was gaining a class act when I shoved that artifact in your hands. Some glints of shine in the dark. Ready to hand I them out as soon as you please. To discuss Things to discuss. Take a break. Let's chat. Hey, Captain. Need help with anything? Can I help? Must help. Ready to head back? Double check this seat. I must confess.
time. Private Mahoney out.
Mateo, are you? What if this... You think we're doing... Don't do this. I'm sorry. I just hope that... Hate to interrupt. Lots of equipment. Got the nod. Yeah, she's an old... St Give you the download. Need more than... Barrett, we're heading to the altar up some software. Wanna test the computer over there? That uh, was supposed to happen. You call it the wrong wires. Station showing red. You see originally had all the tech filed and sealed, but we needed a little more of the oomph, so there's a slap dash of free star parts and jury rigs. Expected a few of them to blow it short, but the fixing is going to take time. Knew I should have fixed that faulty cold when we worked on it the first time, Vlad. My past comes back to me once again. I can stick around until it's sorted. No need for the martyr's clothes, but I'm happy to have the help. As for you, while we're giving the eye the swords, need to tip your ear on another matter when you got the time. Don't want to worry, Captain Petro. Reached out through my... Think we're gonna... Left the life of... Not sending you... Catch a smile up.
I'm up for a little adventure. Who let you on board? But Petrov was done hiring mosquitoes. Or maybe you're after something from the captain's collection. Oh, yes, The Rock. He's not selling it. But if you want to hear him laugh in your face personally, go right ahead. You might find we can be really persuasive about rocks. We just love rocks. Go on, then. Petrov's got a whole little alien zoo in the back. He's asking for trouble with those things. But the locks on the cages are pretty high end. Thankfully. Petrov's got a whole little alien zoo and... Strewn about all over. The good stuff's locked up in a vault for Petrov's own personal viewing. And before you ask, trade it for it. Vadik, you didn't tell me we had visitors. <sighs> we have visitors. Excellent. Now that you've gone to all this trouble to get here, you should make yourself at home. Relax. Kick up your feet on the tables. I don't care they have scorch marks on them anyway. The artifact? I have never... You are a... Tempting. Reverse psych... You might be... Finally. Uh, I know. People look at me and say, Petrov, Enjoy your whole your ship is a testament of splendor. Cow. Why do you need a special vault? Well, all I can say is that even the greatest collection needs its own private viewing area. Plus, between you and me, there are thieves everywhere. So I spared no expense. If... Just a bit further. 
This ship and I have been through some adventures, I'll tell you. I once collected salvage from a Demo Celestial class while it was exploding. The crew was scraping scorch marks and bits of metal right off hand? the hull for weeks. And of course, there was the time I accidentally steered us into a UC Navy vessel after a particularly uproarious celebration of my latest acquisitions of fine art. Thrusters, and we're able to just kind of push them back into the star yard for repairs. everyone let the nice pirate pass to see your back in one piece. Special orders. You're coming with me. Stand down and prepare for immediate transport to our vessel. I've been authorized. Other than that, I've been authorized to inform. Other than that, I'm not at liberty to. Smart decision. I'm telling you, the command... 
Commander's got plans for this loser. Why else would he be going through all this trouble? I still don't understand why he trusts a criminal. Seems like too much of a risk. Stop worrying and keep an eye on our guest. I'll be right back. You just sit tight. The commander wants to have a little chat. The prisoner is ready, sir. I wouldn't worry about it. Since the commander handpicked you, I'm guessing you can hold your breath for a really long time, right? All right, this is as far as I go. Take the lift up to Ops. Commander Ikande should be waiting for you.
Ah, hey, now that we've... This is the operation center of the UC Vigilance. Sysdef's nerve center dedicated to the destruction of the Crimson Fleet. Guards, we've got the... We're going down! dark. I, I can't reach anyone on the station. Noel, Starborn came out of nowhere. Vladimir, get out of there! He already left. Said he was going to, uh, to the launch. Ballot! He, he's... He's still breathing, but... Oh, God, all that blood! Hello, Constellation. Are you there? Who are you? What did you do to our friends? They call me the Hunter. And now that I'm here, your part in glimpsing the unity is over. I'm already on my way. Say goodbye to your friends. It won't be long. Forget about us! That Starborn bastard is after the artifacts! You can't let him take them! Pack up the collection, move it somewhere they can't find it! He's right. We need to bunker down here and get those artifacts ready to move. 
Might need every gun to hold that Starborn off. What about everyone on the eye? We can't leave them to die up there. Watch each other's backs. We're not losing anyone else today. I don't know how long it's gonna take to pack up the artifacts. I... I'll get started. Hopefully this will only take a few minutes, if my hands can stop shaking. Everyone take cover, now. Where, oh God, where do I start? You really expect them to barge through the front door? I'll work as fast as I door. can. Well, I'm not I just need a little time. I'll work as fast as I can. I just need a little time. You leaving? Gonna barricade the door. Don't know how many of us it's gonna take to keep whoever this hunter is at bay. Otherwise, I'd be at that door with you. You too. Oh God, where do I start? Oh God, where do I start? I'll work as fast as I can. Walter, are you all right?
Barrett. Barrett, can you hear me? It's Sam. We're... We're gonna find all the... He's... Come on. Let's get going. It's not changing anything. You're... alive. Krix's ghost can keep waiting. No tears for the old. Got the others to worry about. Oh, thank heavens. You're all right. I'll be okay now. Go on. Take care of the others. I don't think I can move right away. Vladimir! Oh, thank goodness. Where's Baron? He's gone. <laughs> we... Uh, just means he's clay. Hunter, he, uh, But the fact... So we put it... Fine idea. Here. I thought it would come to this.
if I may, really unity. Because he was stopping us, implying that we were getting closer to it. The thing is, I've heard that word before. It's an important concept in Keeper Aquilus' speeches. The priest? Is the Sanctum Universum going to bless our little crusade of discovery? It can't be a coincidence. The Sanctum has always believed that answers are out there in the stars. Look, I know it's the longest of shots and the biggest leap of faith I could ever ask us all to take, but... Why not talk to him? I guess it couldn't hurt. I've heard the Keeper's a pretty insightful guy. Thank you. I know it's not much to go on, but something about this feels right. I'll meet you over there. House for a room. I don't know much about it. I think that's how they like it. Exactly. It's like Keeper it's Aquilus. Can we have a moment? Oh, Mateo. It's been too long. How are your parents? Your mother's still struggling with that azalea garden? No, she figured that out a while ago. Had to adjust the pH levels in the soil. But, Keeper, I didn't come to catch up. Oh. Well, what's on both your minds? Oh, yeah. How humanity comes together. Uh, how we are to love each other, even as our universe becomes even more complex. That's not exactly what we mean. Keeper, when you talk about unity, well... Does it mean anything else? Something... Secret? Perhaps we should talk about this inside. Have you ever heard one of his sermons? They're really good. Oh, now that we have a little privacy, why don't you tell me? They're like nothing. Keeper, 
gravitational distortion, sub-audio harmonic sequencing, unidentifiable energy fluctuations? Uh, I caught half of that. So, these things are unusual? Even in your experience? There have always been mysteries that seem to defy our understanding of the universe. Beyond rational thought, we enter life as an act of someone else's faith in us. There's no way of knowing who we will become, and yet the risk is made anyway. So you've pushed into the unknown, not knowing where it would take you. And it's brought you here. I think I can. If you're willing to find your way in the dark for a bit longer, I can give you a path of discovering its meaning. There's an old story, far older than the Sanctum Universum, of someone who walked the settled systems and saw every corner of it. This pilgrim claimed he found the true meaning of unity. I always thought of it as just a parable for trying to bring humanity together, but maybe it's more. In my story, the pilgrim met the founders of the House of Enlightenment and the enigmatic cult of the Varun. And he gave them each a part of the truth. Then he goes to his final resting place to live out the rest of his days in contemplation of infinitum addendum, his addition or contribution to the infinite. But what if the story isn't a metaphor, but a code? a way of finding the pilgrim again, or at least his grave. Yes, something must be there. I just can't put my finger on it. Maybe the answer will become clear when we have more. The House of Enlightenment and Varun have versions of this story. The enlightened work out of the well here in New Atlantis helping the poorest citizens find a better life for themselves. Varun worshippers are more enigmatic, but there is a lone zealot that was captured recently for attacking UC ships. I visited her a couple of times. Hopefully, she'll be willing to talk to you as well. I'll stay here with the Keeper. We need to catch up. And I wouldn't mind asking him a few more questions.
if it's about the... Oh, you know It's actually important, as strange as that may seem. Listen, I've talked about this with him a ton of times, and there's no record of a unity pilgrim, but since you both insist, our early records are mostly administrative. Humanitarian projects, group counseling notes, charity expenditures. But there is a series of exchanges the founding members recorded in a lot of detail. It's the closest thing I have to what Aquilus is describing. A man walks into the first house of enlightenment. The founding members just call him the Drifter. So they think he's a charity case at first, but no, the Drifter asks them a bunch of questions. If your philosophy is built on an individual's own morality, what about the second person? That second person might disagree. Isn't the problem of two what you're really looking for? And the founders respond, each individual must understand how the second person lifts them up. All of human effort is a story of cooperation pushing us forward. And it kind of goes on like that. He comes back every week for a year. Same conversation every time. Second person this, the problem of do that. Honestly, I think, fortunately, always happy to help. Can we get a moment? Can we talk? A visitor? I have all the company I need. He knows not the truth. He sends another to ask more incessant questions. I never can make heads or tails of these guys. The Great Serpent waits in the shadows. He will entwine the universe, and all but the faithful will be made as dust. That is the truth. No more. No less. It would be really helpful if you told us about it. If that even matters in the slightest to you. Yes, I have spoken to your keeper about this. I will tell you what I told him. And then you will leave me. Jinan Varun meets the Unbeliever. He gives false prophecy to Jinan. But such is Jinan's conviction in the Great Serpent he does not hesitate. He cuts the Unbeliever down. But the Unbeliever returns. Jinan realizes the Great Serpent is testing him, and he will not be found wanting. Four times they fight. Over 120 rotations of the planet they are on. Remember these four battles, Jinan. The Unbeliever says, remember these 120 rotations. But Jinan knows this is blasphemy and delivers the killing blow. That is all. Then we are done. Leave me. I could uh, really bend your ear when you got a moment. Uh, when the time's right, I'd appreciate a chat.
run through it one more time. back what did you learn was there something hidden in their stories like we thought hmm planets are often named by number that second might mean the second planet in the system what else did you learn if there really is a location the pilgrim wanted us to find those do sound awfully like coordinates. Was there anything else? Yes. What he added to infinity. Maybe that points to a name. If we're looking for his resting place, we'd need to know the name of the star system, wouldn't we? Let's see. We have something that could be coordinates. Infinitum addendum. What if we break down the parts? No systems named finite or add. That just leaves in and dumb. <laughs> well, that's certainly how I feel. Yes, that's it. The second planet in Indum. At four and one hundred twenty. That's where you'll find the pilgrim's resting place. And from there, maybe you'll find the true meaning of unity. Before you go, you've now spoken to many different perspectives in our universe. In a way, you'll be carrying their philosophies with you on this journey. I know you're looking for a specific unity, but... If you had to guess what it was, what interpretation would you give it? Ah, but what makes something like that holy? Gravity is also a force that brings things together. Should that be sanctified? And so you think this word unity describes a similar miracle? The processes of the universe are all in accordance with some greater intent. This, uh, this is all a bit above my pay grade. Well, I won't keep you any longer. This has been fun, I have to admit. Go, find your truth. I could, uh, really bend your ear when you got a moment.
how much of a thrill? Is it everything you want? <laughs> I gotta say, time has a way of just... But if you ever heard all the... It appears I left him in my... But, really, yeah, there... Felt like every little... Now I just hope I can help. Your kind words are... For my father? Imagine being the... And now... You say the damnedest? Well, the stuff they pop. I've uh, got some stuff on my mind when you have the time.
Constellation ship. I will personally guarantee. And think of it as a ceasefire. Good. Introduction. Your success is unprecedented. Before you came, we were just discussing how continued use of force against you is unwise. Yes, we did. We are not a monolithic people. The Starborn are individuals. Some are united in cause. Others are in it for themselves. We are all in it for ourselves. Some of us are just more honest. The emissary threatened your ship, demanded you hand over your artifact. How is that so different from what I did? We needed to warn you off. Every encounter with one of our kind could spell disaster. For whom, exactly? I say whoever can collect them should. Good. Hold on to that determination. Because you're about to learn there's a higher prize at stake. The Unity. You are on the path to it. It is a place. A gateway. It is where we were reborn. Not a relatively expendable Dusty anymore, are you? Look at where you've ended up. I'm not who you think I am. <laughs> this universe is only the first one you've been to. I've seen hundreds. Where I came from, I was the one who stayed at the Lodge to protect the artifacts. You died on board the Eye while we held off the Hunter. One of me, at least. I collected the remaining artifacts, and they opened the way to the center of my universe, and the doorway to an infinite number of others. That is the unity. When I stepped into it, I became a starborn. It's how I've entered other worlds, including yours. They are all connected. And that's the problem. All the artifacts are needed to complete the armillary and open the way to the unity. In every universe, the Starborn fight over them. Innocent people die. You've witnessed the power granted by the temples. The anarchy that can be unleashed. Someone has to decide who should get them. Here it comes. The Emissary tells you only the worthy should enter heaven. You're twisting what I mean. They're hypocrites. They use the chaos caused by the hunt for the artifacts to establish an order where they decide who's worthy. I attacked your lodge because I wanted the artifacts and you held me off. You got away. That wasn't some morality play. You didn't survive because of righteousness. You won because of persistence, luck, and skill. As I have done countless times. I was also human once. But what does it matter 
who or what I was when eternity is within your grasp. You're learning. My other self wants you to walk the path he walks, to give up, to appreciate the universe you have. Easy for a person who's seen everything, done everything. I think you should see it for yourself. You've never come this far. Not in all the universes I've seen. The path to the unity is opening to you. You're going to tip the scales one way or another. Better your hand be on one of our sides. Bingo! I want a truce between all three of us. Give you some time to think over which approach to the unity is the one you want. Mine or the Hunter's? Yes. Let's see how willing you are to live under someone else's rules. Just remember, one of us isn't trying to judge you. The Emissary, whoever created the artifacts and built those temples, is playing a game with us. One whose prize is access to the center of all creation. There are no rules. Whoever gets all the pieces wins. And I've won. Over and over. I don't kill for the unity. I find the easiest pathway to it. I've simply found that it's the quickest way. Talking, forming alliances. I'll admit, as soon as I... Re Show you. I'll tell you everything. I it's not an easy. You will be leading. Maybe that's why. Before you leave, I want to give you something. A way to another artifact, but also a light. Seek the moon here. And I am sorry. I hope you... You should also talk to your colleague. Part of me wonders...
We hear you got time for a quick chat? I appreciate it. It's the closest I could uh, really bend your ear when you got a moment. Hey, I've been talking with the others, and I'd like to get everyone together to say goodbye. You know, to bear it. Thank you. It wouldn't be the same without you there. I'll have everything set up in a few days. Mateo told us about your pilgrim's voyage. You found it, didn't you? The meaning of unity. Wait, say that again? Multiple universes? You can't possibly mean what I think you mean. Let's take a step back. This is everything we've been building towards, and the implications are a lot to take in. Could you explain the part about multiple universes one more time for everyone? Yes, I wouldn't mind a little more detail. And that's why the Starborn want the artifacts so desperately. They're the keys to unlocking the infinite. I don't even want to think about the physiological changes you'd need to travel between universes. Plus what it would do to the mind? Enlightenment? Or oblivion? Like the hunter. You have the opportunity to reach the closest thing to your god that might exist. And you're second-guessing it? One doesn't approach the afterlife without some trepidation. You're right. We have to see the unity for ourselves. I know this has been a lot for everyone to take in. But we finally have answers. Let's make the best of them. Uh, not to make a sharp turn in a grand tale, but I got the eye fixed up. Bruised, but still blinking. Let me know when you're ready to follow up on what it's seen. You and I have things to discuss. These last glimpses from the eye are from the farthest fringes of known space. Could be the only remaining pieces outside the hands of the Stargon. Catch a smile out there. I will be monitoring the report's vitals. us to do looks to me like you nothing for us to do you're in good flight okay
Everything looks good here. I'll be at my booth if you need me. Oh, I love the smell of getting back into the harness. Can you get a moment? Can we talk? First step. Can we talk? You should have a research station. Use me. What? We haven't sent nothing on the comms. No one look. What are you trying to Yeah. Nothing on the comms. Look, what are you trying to... Really? All right. For security, I'm what's inside. I'll get the door. Step forward. Scan is... Clear. One moment.
Attention all. I am declaring a courtyard. All sections are now on lockdown. Senior staff, protocol Delta. Use up. There. Be right with you. You'll follow me. I'll show you to the director. We'll take the back way up. One minute, you're following me, and then you're just gone. Minute later, you pop in out of nowhere, looking like you were in the middle of a fight. But there's nothing here. I should have never let you inside. What is this? Some kind of stealth tick? Who are you working for? <sighs> Look, I don't know what's going on. Let's get you to the director. Maybe she can figure this out. Come on, this way. Who's there? Oh, oh, thank God. Finally, the distressing. What do you mean? Wait. Hughes? No. The accident. If the... Right. Three months ago, it caused a gas... There... The lab was... Sophia, we should... Wait, he's back. All right, we're on our way up. He was out. I was just filling in the director. Let's keep moving. If anything happens, the director's office is on the second floor, in the floor. You can't miss it. This way. Come in. Kaya Patel, research director. And this is our chief scientist, Maria Hughes. Ethan said you disappeared right in front of him. Twice now? Three times? Director, you can't be taking this seriously. Look, I don't know who you are or what you're doing here, but there has to be a rational explanation for all of this. Excuse me? That is quite a claim. What makes you think that? Tell us about this other universe. Raphael? Raphael died in the accident. He... Wait, burned out? The leak. Director, there was a hydrogen leak right after the accident. It was contained in a minute or two. But if it hadn't been, it could well have caused an explosion. Another universe, though. That's a lot to swallow. An artifact? You mean the source of the distortion? You know something about it? Really? 
That's all you're gonna say? No, no. Fair enough. You have a prior connection with them, then. Maybe that's why this is only affecting you. <sighs> this facility and the research level two kilometers beneath us were built to study a gravitational distortion. This artifact and the field it creates. Three months ago, our chief engineer, Raphael, was calibrating an experimental probe when something went wrong. We still don't know what happened. There was a series of explosions, and somehow, it's still running. What do you think we haven't tried? The kill switch on the control unit isn't responding. The explosion must have damaged the failsafe. We could shut it off manually, but the entire research level is locked down. We can't even get down there. How? I told you the research level's locked down. We can't even use the damn elevator. What? Clever. In this other universe, Raphael survived. He made it back from the lab. So clearly his elevator works. Take it. And you might be able to shut down the experiment. This is crazy. But first, we have to do something about your shifting. We can't shut down the probe, but we might be able to adjust some of the other parameters. It's risky. We don't know what we're dealing with, but... <sighs> All right. It's worth a try. Then it sounds like we have a plan. Come with me. The control unit is in the fabrication lab next door. What have we gotten ourselves into? you what happened you disappeared and the ceiling caved in and and i thought i'd finally lost it things are bad up here. The research level is even worse. I barely made it out, and that was months ago. I don't understand any of this. I... Okay, we can get out the...
How should I know? I just want to get up. I'm not. I'm not. They're a native speak. The fire took. What? I... Oh, it's you. You realize you just popped into my locked office. So much for security protocols. Uh, sure. Down the hall. Take the stairs next to the atrium. Yeah. And done. Is that... <sighs> Did you get lost in the hallway? Uh, right. This is the probe control unit. Most of these controls aren't responding. I'm going to very carefully adjust the settings I can. There's no way to tell what's about to happen. Pay attention and be ready for anything. I'll begin by adjusting the energy feed of the electron beam array. We're at 93 terabolts. Calibrating to 95, 97, a hundred. Ugh, nothing. Let's try the other way. Ninety-one, eighty-nine. What the? Okay, okay. It looks safe to approach. But what in the world? in the lab. The setting is just exposing it somehow. Step into the distortion, please. <sighs> Nothing. No, hold on. There's a slight pattern change. Some kind of resonance. All right, stay there. Let me turn the beat back up for you. Calibrating to setting causes the distortions to manifest, and the higher causes you to shift. That seems promising. Keep it on the lower setting until you want to shift, and you should be able to avoid any more accidents. I'd give you my control unit, but it looks like you already have one from the other universe. Love to take a look at that when this is all over. Right? If you can get disengaged... Oh, try not to get lost in... All set? If you need supplies, I've asked Dr. Barakova to take care of you. It's the least I can do after everything we've put you through. Before you go, there is one other thing we should discuss. If this experiment is the cause of your shifting, when you shut it down, the shifting will stop. What happens then? To you and to us. Nishina is a closed system. Two potential states held in tension. When you shut down the... You are the... The question is... Hmm. But as the director of this... You don't have to... Now, it's... With the network off... Ethan? Ma'am. I'm aware... I... Good luck, dear. It's been a fat...
Tatiana Barakova. I can spare a few minutes. Beyond that, I am not your therapist, your... Hmm. What happened to you? Let's get this over with. There.
lockdown is active. Emergency override controls are available on designated security terminals.
protocol. I mean, I... It's not much. You're welcome to anything. Yes. Now.
22 seconds. Ride on schedule. How are the helium-3 valves holding, Nova? We double-checked the leakage concerns this morning before the launch. All signs green. Any changes to the calculation sequence from Voltaire? No changes since we uploaded the last figures yesterday. It's a clean shot from here to Jupiter. One day the computer will be on board the spaceship. Just imagine that. One miracle of science at a time can have room. Counting down. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. All clear, Nova. Indicators look good. The ship should be cruising Jupiter's orbit right now. Visual confirmation will be possible in... <laughs> 32 minutes. Afraid the speed of light is on the slow side these days. <laughs> How does it feel to break the laws of physics, Canaveral? We're all pretty excited down here in NASA, I won't lie. Excited enough to tell me where you got the original data? Not in a million years.
a story. You just feel it.
check log. Ça fait du lit de tienne. That was the graveyard test from the moon today. It was the first time we were able to talk to the team at Nova Galactic directly. So many things were under wraps before, but now everyone wants all the publicity they can get. I'm already seeing proposals for manufacturing androids of drives, expeditions to Alpha Centauri and beyond. It's also overwhelming and worrying. I never actually got to visit your lab. I know. What My you name mean? is Dr. Victor Isa. And if you're listening to this, then you probably already know the truth. I was young when I first headed the retrieval team of an odd gravitational anomaly on Mars. But I kept what really happened that day hidden from everyone except one other person. Even she didn't believe me at first. But I have no reason to lie to anyone now, so I... I hope you'll accept this... confession. Whoever you are. When I touched the anomaly, I experienced 12 days of lost time. I met... myself. He told me everything that has since come true. The grab drive equations, the tests on the moon, Earth's atmosphere, sputtering her way because of what we had done. But he also told me about a city thriving on a planet orbiting a distant star. Human culture, art, music, lifestyles evolving and shining brightly across all of space. What price would I be willing to pay for that future? Maybe you don't believe me. Maybe Judith was right and I'm just a coward who wants to believe his mistakes jump the ride. But everyone has forgotten about the way the oppression of the grab drive is furthest. We need to discuss what we can ours. And it looks like other Starborn got here before us. So, you might have company.
Sometimes we get a moment. Can we talk? Morale in the lodge has been measurably reduced. If you need time, I Constellation is no stranger to loss. Our own founder left on an expedition and never returned. It is easy to talk about the glory and excitement of breaching into the unknown, of lighting the darkness. But it is harder to stare into the face of the cost. That all of our progress is built on top of the lives of those who dared. And that we owe them the courage to continue our work. Thank you, Sarah. If anyone else would like to say a few words. Thank you. If anyone else wants to say something. understand now why I asked you to come here? The artifacts unlock the secret of interstellar travel at the cost of Earth. An easy trade, honestly. Why have one world? Don't you? How many would have chosen Earth? And what gave Victor? You see the hypocrisy in what the emissary is saying, right? In the wrong hands. Join me, old friend. We can collect the final pieces together. Oh, no, you don't. You're not his old friend, remember? You're from another universe. Okay. And you might not understand why. Thank you. Well, can't say I didn't try. We'll settle this. The very temple. You're lucky I'm a man of my word. I'll see you there. Stay for a moment. There's always a moment. Expect anything. In
enterprising starborn lured human mercenaries here. They built this facility. Not a layer to get past before we can reach the temple.
way through. Okay.
Arden, you didn't tell me we have visitors. We have visitors. Welcome. What's mine is yours. Well, no, it's still mine, but you get what I mean. I'm impressed. How did you... Did you... You don't deserve the final artifact. This life you've led, you're nothing but a thief, an opportunist, a liar. Such a limited understanding of reality. The unity is not won or lost. You think you have a right to the infinite? You're nothing! Guards! Come on, you can make it. Barely stepped on the juryman's road with us. Can't see another soul off to the void so soon. No. No! I'll pour one out to the blackest sea for you, Rook. this ghost? What kind of cruelty is this? Is some starborn trick? Come to mock me before you twist the blade? What are you then? Some lost soul? No salvation here. Not sure if I agree with the trade. One life is one too many. Well, ghost from the other side. I'll keep what you said rolling around in my head for a spell. But for now, wouldn't mind if you gave me a bit. I just lost a friend.
guess I shouldn't be too surprised.
You made it. I hope you're enjoying the view. I never get tired of staring at it. Eternity. A thought occurs. Can anyone ever truly experience reality outside of oneself? All of time and space filters through a singular perspective. I am as much you as you are a part of everything. All points connect to here. When a star is born or dies, its existence beats through the heart of this place. The unity. I have seen all you are, have been, and could be. Do you feel like you've lived a good life? Is there anything you regret? Fair. I wonder what your decision will be then. In order to become Starborn, you must give the universe one last thing. Yourself. That intangible part of you. That something that makes you unique amongst the infinite will explode like a supernova. A part of you will fuse with the essence of this universe, while another part leaves it behind forever. Do you understand what I mean? This one final leap will change this universe forever, even as you leave it behind. Much like the death of a star creates new kinds of matter, so will the part of your being become fused with the unity itself. That part is what becomes starborn and crosses into the multiverse. Through your eyes, it will be as if waking up from a dream. Walk into the gate of light, and you will become starborn. Everything will vanish, and you will awaken somewhere else. But that isn't your only potential destiny. You could turn around, walk away from the unity until the stars fade away, and you will wake up on your own ship. In your universe, you could live out the life you have. I have enjoyed speaking to you once again. All of you. Every version that is here in the Unity, right now. Go out into the stars. As you consider stepping towards infinity, I offer you a glimpse into what will happen to the universe you may be leaving. Although you leave this universe behind, a new universe awaits you. Who will you be in this one? What choices?